guys. Today we're going to look at a um, batch file that's provided by Nexio called Nexio Project and we'll see how we can use this batch file to help us create and manage our projects. Alright, here we go. So I'm right now uh, console opened into Nexio core slash bin directory. Right? And within this directory you'll find the Nexio project.cmd file. This is for Windows and we'll look at the Linux one uh, or Linux slash Mac version in a few minutes. Alright, so the first thing you do here, uh, suppose you don't have any inputs, uh, then Nexio dispatch file will show you a little kind of like a help screen to give you some idea what you can do. And so ideally, or essentially what you would do is you would specify a project name. Let's just call this uh, my project for now. And uh, this, pro this project name uh, by uh, the convention here, this will be created under your C projects directory. So you'll be created under this directory, right? And let's also suppose we put in um, a couple of scripts we want to create as part of this project creation. Now the script names are optional. You can see right here the help out is saying that it's, they are optional, um, but it may be of some convenience if you have some idea that you're going to create new projects. Um, and you know what kind of um, what kind of scripts you might want to have, then you can specify in here just to save you some steps. Okay, and so let's go. Uh, now it's going to ask me for a project ID. Now for the purpose of this video, I'm going to skip past this and just press enter to get the to, to use a default value, which is what I specify as my my project name. Uh, in a in a different video, we'll cover what this project ID is uh, is meant for. Right? So for now I'm just going to press enter and there it is, project is created. So now if I go down to uh, C projects, I should find a directory called my projects and the structure uh, which is reflected here as well. Uh, this is created within the uh, using the standard Nexio project structure. So you have your project ID in the dot meta directory. Uh, again we'll skip this for now. The artifact directory which contain bin, uh, data, plan, and script. The bin directory will have a couple of scripts. Uh, they are kind of like helper scripts to get you to run your uh, your scripts easily. Now you don't have to use them. You could just come to the same directory here and then type in Nexio and so on and so forth. You can still run your project that way, but this might be useful, right? Depending on your situation. Uh, because I specify I have specified test1 and test2. So within my script directory, I will have test1 and test2 in here as well as in my data directory, the same thing. Okay, but you will notice that in the script directory, there are also two other files being created here. So these are what we call starter files. They, they can be deleted if you are not wanting to use them. That's not a problem. Just go ahead and delete them um, and uh, Nixu wouldn't complain at all, right? But these are files created just to help you to get things started so that it may be easier rather than you trying to create something from scratch. Um, this my project is just a scripts file. Uh, it's uh, fairly empty. right? It just has like a hello world which you can delete if you want. Uh, the test one and test two look exactly the same as well. They look the same way. right? The my project macro file, so again my project is my project name. It's also a kind of a, a, a very kind of vanilla plain macro file. You can delete this and, and start creating a macro from scratch. Right? So there's no need to maintain these, file, these files as them, they are. You can always change them up. Okay, and then the uh, plan directory would just have an empty plan file. Let's suppose that at some point later, uh, you decided that you need to add a new some new scripts. So simply we can come back into the same script here and then just specify the script we want to add. Now, if you recall from this help screen, optionally you can also specify a new macro that you want to create if you need that, right? So you, you would use the macro colon uh, prefix to do, to do that. So macro colon and let's say we call this something like comments. Uh, because we were trying to create a bunch of common macro, right? So that's how you do it. And uh, then if you go to the script directory, then there it is. Three and four and comments. Same thing with the data directory, you will have those things added as well. 
Okay, so hopefully that's pretty straightforward. Now, once in a while, <clears throat> you might find a need to create a project structure that um, that are combined into a larger structure. Right? Sometimes you might find that useful. For example, maybe you're working on a very big project, uh, and each project has or that project has multiple directory or uh, sorry multiple modules and those modules uh, for whatever reason re deserve its own project structure so what you could do is you can create uh, something like this so instead of specifying a project name like that here you can say something like uh, maybe I'll call it my big project oh sorry I meant to say my big project and then create a subdirectory underneath that maybe something like module one right and this also means that you don't have to follow the structure or you don't have to follow the, the convention where your project is created underneath c projects if you wanted to put it somewhere else um, or a different directory structure you can just specify in here what is it that you want and that makes it will allow that to happen as well so here we go i'm just going to create a project when you can see right now it's going to create under this directory structure so if i go to my project my big project i can see module one there right and so for uh, just as a way of organizing your projects you can have module two you know module three and they nicely just become sibling project to each other and uh, you might find this more uh, organized or more uh, easy 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 to navigate right so the choice is yours uh, you can specify in this format or in the simpler format like this okay uh, let's take a look on the Linux side which is very similar on the Linux side <clears throat> um, obviously on Linux we, we don't run the CMD file and to run the SH file you will need to specify this dot slash in the, in front right dot slash means from the current directory so the directory right now that i'm pointing at is this project next to your core bin so the current directory being that so this means from the current directory find this file to run it right uh, so here same idea we could create a project structure that may or may not follow the the convention uh, so in this case i have my my project as the the big conglomerate project and now maybe underneath that maybe I have one something called uh, registration right okay and perhaps I have another one called shopping cart and there it is these are the projects okay now just a little bit of information of what's happening under the hood so these directory, these files that have been created, actually they came from Nexio Core, right? So if you go into Nexio Core and look under the template directories, those are the files that Nexio is copying into the project that, that you specify to create. So technically speaking, you could do this yourself, but you would need to copy this to the right location and rename them, right, and all that. So just as a convenience, use the script to help you Get the same job done with less time right but if you want to do this by yourself just to you know experiencing the <laughs> the, the the all the steps yes please please feel free to do that that's definitely possible uh, but i think using this script would save you a lot more time all right i hope this has been helpful and uh, give you some insight as to how you can uh, expedite your uh, project creations and maintenance until next time